hey what is up guys welcome back to another youtube video at the world of ai in today's video we're going to take a look at code review gpt which is an innovative tool that harnesses the power of large language models to enhance the code review process within your own ci and cd pipelines now this is by integrating this technology which aims to streamline the code review workflow by offering valuable feedback on potential issues and areas for improvement in your own code base now this is something that i'll showcase in this video today where i'll showcase a little bit more about what you can actually do with code review gpt as well as how you can install it locally onto your desktop i'm going to talk a little bit more about the setups the prerequisites getting started as well as talking a little bit more about the future roadmap of this project this is something that is open source and it's completely free so this is going to be amazing for you guys as you'll get a good chance to take advantage of the different types of usabilities of code review gpt now this is something that i'll showcase throughout the video so make sure you stay tuned so you can get a better idea now guys if you guys haven't followed world of ai on twitter i highly recommend that you do so because there's a lot of value over here and you'll stay up to date with the ai news now, if you guys haven't subscribed to the world of AI, it would mean the whole world to me if you guys can do so, because I'm going to be posting the latest AI videos over here. So I highly recommend that you subscribe, turn the notification bell, like this video, and stay tuned for future uploads. Now, if you guys haven't seen any of my previous videos, you should, because there's a lot of content and a lot of value that will definitely benefit you. So I highly recommend that you check out these videos to get a better idea. So with that thought, let's get right into the video. So guys, as we talked about, the primary advantage of code review GPT is its ability to identify common issues that might otherwise go unnoticed during the manual code review. We can see that Matt on Twitter had explained that code review GPT runs in CI slash CD pipelines, and it provides super detailed and helpful suggestions to your code. Basically, you can run this even on GitHub to see and take advantage of the code review process to eliminate unwanted code or basic code that is not functional we can see over here it gives you an in-depth analysis of what should happen and what you should do to basically change up the code to make it functional now it's efficiently spots instances of dead code as well as code segments that are no longer being executed so what it does is that it safely removes that code and then contributes to a cleaner code base for improved performance so this is something that is outstanding and i'll showcase this later on in the demo that will help us eliminate like dead code or showcasing you how you can actually utilize it on your own code base now, another critical feature of Code Review GPT is its capability to detect exposed secrets. This is something that is basically sensitive or have credentials or API keys that might be unintentionally embedded into the code. And what it does is that ensures that the potential security risks are promptly addressed and mitigated towards. Thereby, there's like a safeguarding integrated into this application, which is kind of like I didn't even know you can even do something like this. And something that is so helpful for people who are writing crazy amounts of code while testing different things with that code and they might maybe forget something sensitive like an api key and they might release it without knowing and this is why code reviewing is such an important thing and this is something which you can integrate with ai now which has its own gpt to help address these issues now another thing is that code review gpt addresses the readability of the code which is a vital aspect often overlooked in traditional code reviews and this is by evaluating the code structure and the style of the code now the tool to, the tool to actually suggest this improvement is to enhance the code readability which is integrated within this code review gpt and what it does is that it maintains the the whole process of this is to make it so much easier for any team member or user of this application or the code base to understand and to get a better idea of what they're actually working with and this is kind of awesome as it showcases that you can basically have this integrated into your workflow and have multiple people working upon it so this is something that is going to be really helpful for group projects or people who are working towards a big project to have it reviewed finally with a code review gpt now one thing i want to note is that code review gpt is currently in alpha and it's only for fun use cases only which means that it should utilize be utilized solely for like fun 
and for research purposes at this current moment research as in like just for fun on your own purpose and it may offer like a lot of helpful solutions but it's essentially just an exercise that is used to showcase that you can do such things with gpt and showcase that you can utilize ai with code review applications such as this to help you and help your day-to-day -day tasks when you're actually coding so at this current moment it's not something that could be used freely so just keep that in mind it's gonna have a lot of errors and it might even detect things that are not actually dead code so just keep that in mind when you're utilizing this and fully review it again once you have this code review review the actual code of what you're actually getting uh, a review over so keep that in mind and with that thought let's talk a little bit more about the future roadmap now guys, I don't know about you guys, but this roadmap for code review GPT appears to be quite comprehensive and it aims to enhance the tool's capabilities to a next level. Firstly, you can see that they want to make a more clever way to find exact code to review. And currently, code review GPT likely relies on the specific triggers and indicators to identify the code to review. So in the future, what they're trying to do is that it is trying to develop a more intelligent or sophisticated method for selecting the exact pieces of code that requires review. So this could involve leveraging advanced code analysis techniques or integrating with version control systems to pinpoint relevant changes. Secondly, they're trying to have a VS Code extension, which is integrating Code Review GPT as a Visual Studio Code extension, which will be a significant step towards seamless adaptations for developers. And this is by bringing the Code Review functionality directly into the development environment, which allows developers or users to easily receive real-time feedback while writing the actual code. And this is further streamlining the review process and encouraging continuous improvement. Now, another thing is using embody, or embedding sorry, and vector store to build a knowledge graph of the repository. So this is to basically improve the quality of the suggestions provided by Code Review GPT. And so that the roadmap proposes a building of a knowledge graph or a code repository. Now, by leveraging this embedding and vector representation of the code files, it is then utilizing the code or the tool to create a contextual understanding of the code base, which allows for more of a relevant and accurate suggestion during the code review process. Nextly, they have a prompt engineering to refine the prompt. Now, this is so that the prompts used in the interactive way of code review GPT is so that the heavily influence from its responses are to be optimized for its overall performance and this is by carefully refining and fine-tuning the prompts so that developers can ensure the code review gpt is consistent and it provides valuable and actionable feedback another thing is it's trying to build a prompt analysis tool supporting different llms such as private hugging face and even azure uh, another thing I would want to see is maybe if they can incorporate Starcoder into this, having some sort of utilization of that large language model that has a huge database on code analysis as well as its huge data set and curated data on coding, which could be very beneficial for this application, having a hand by hand on hand with this huge large language model that supports coding knowledge. So it'd be quite awesome to see this supported integration. And lastly, they're trying to make a cloud offering, which you can access on the web front. So it'd be easier for people instead for people or it'd be easier for people who do not have the right capabilities to run it on your own desktop. So that's really cool as to what they're trying to do. Now, we talked about what you can actually do with it, as well as talking a little bit about the future roadmap. Now, let's talk a little bit more on how you can get started with this application so you can install it locally onto your desktop. So there's a couple of things that you'll require before you can actually install this, and that is an API key associated with OpenAI. So make sure you have this connected with your OpenAI uh, billing so that you can utilize this OpenAI key. OpenAI API key. I swear I have a counter that showcases how many times I messed that saying up. Your OpenAI API key. So keep that ready. And secondly, you will need Git, which is an application that is used to help clone repository onto your desktop. So make sure you have that installed. And last, uh, thirdly, you'll have Python installed as your code editor. And lastly, you'll use Visual Studio Code to input the API key. And once you have all these four things ready, you can then go back onto the GitHub repo and you can copy this command right here, git clone and the GitHub repository link. And what you can do is now open up command prompt. 
then paste this right here and click enter. Now, once it starts cloning the repository onto your CPU, you can then copy this code right here, which is CD code review dash GPT. So once you're into the folder, you can start installing the dependencies. That is by typing in NPM install. So it will now start installing the repository by unpacking the files of the dependencies. And once that is done, we'll be right back. So once you have it finished installing the dependencies, you can now open up Visual Studio Code. Now you can do this by first opening up a new window. I'll close the old one because I don't need that. But once you have this open up, you can open up the folder and now start locating the code review folder. And it might take me a couple seconds. Code review GPT. Where is it? 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 Right here. All right, sweet. Now, once you have this loaded up, go into the .env example file. You can trust the authors and go back onto the API keys website from OpenAI. Make a new secret key. Uh, don't worry about this, guys. I'll change this up after this video. Now, we'll go back here and paste your key over here. Now, click on file and click save. But first things first, I actually got to rename the .example file. So once this is done, you can then click save again and it will be now functionable for use cases so i'll be right back so once you have finished inputting your api key you can go back onto command prompt and now type in npm start and another way to actually review and use this is that you can now actually use this on your terminal and this is by going into file or sorry having your terminal set and i believe you can do it with terminal create a new terminal and you can run the commands over here if you wanted to so it's way easy for you to access and you can utilize the different things of this application right over here now you can see over here it's getting the files and it's starting to run and review it so once this is done you can then go on to the next prompt which is building the application globally you can do this so that you can run it on different applications and anywhere on your file so i'm gonna just click build and finish this off so i can start showcasing you on what you can actually do with this application so now lastly i'll just showcase what you can actually do to easily start this up and i actually forgot about one important thing and that is the prerequisites and this is something that i forgot to talk about at the start this github cli is for you to actually use this setup on the actual github repository so if you want to play around with this code review application on your github application you would actually have to input this and this is through setting it up which i'll showcase a little while later which is by installing the code review gpt and running the npm install code review dash gpt and you just run the different types of things that will be required to have it function with github's application now this is an easy setup you just run these two commands and set up the api keys within the yml now once that is done you need to have the prerequisites git as well as node.js we talked about git but i forgot to tell, showcase on how you can install node.js it's fairly easy there's a command online you can just search it up how to install node.js for your gpu or your sorry your cpu and you can easily install it then once that is done it's fairly easy to use if you are running it non like not on an installed global application which is fairly easy you can just run this command and you'll be able to run it in your root directory or of where you actually clone the repository onto. Once you have that installed, you can start reviewing and playing around with this application. Now, if you had installed it globally, you just have to place this and run it into your root directory. And there's commands to actually run the code review process on stage files. And this is by just typing this command in and you can start running it. And secondly, you can run this on a setup tool to configure the application by running this application. There's different options you can play around with. It is gonna utilize the model of gpt4 so if you want to change that default to whatever you have you can do so in the actual files to tweak it for the gp 3.5 and i believe that is fairly easy and you can just write the code in that and and set it to gpt 3.5 it's very easy to do so and once that is done you can basically click save and start running it it's fairly easy you can upload your own templates you can see over here you have different templates of what you can do uh you can run it uh, by uploading your own stage files so that you can have it review and operate it by setting that simple command which is code review run or the model dash dash model and this is how you can actually run this 
onto different application files that you have set. So I hope you found this video to be fairly easy and you got some sort of value out of this guys. In conclusion, this is an amazing application that showcases that you can use AI in code review applications and it demonstrates such a strategic way and approach to enhance your own tools and capabilities for refining your own code. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. It really means a lot to me. And now if you guys haven't followed World of AI on Twitter, I highly recommend that you do so because I'm gonna be posting the latest AI news over here. Now, if you guys haven't subscribed, please do so, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and if you guys haven't seen my previous videos, I highly recommend that you do so, so you can get a better idea of what it's like in the different concepts of the AI world. So with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys very shortly. Peace out, fellas.